Hey, beautiful friends. We are here for a Friday Faith Foundations episode on the Robin Graham Show. I hope you're all doing quite well and ready to celebrate Memorial Day in the U.S. I thank all of those brave men and women who have served our country and demonstrated love for country. I deeply respect them and honor them and thank them. And I hope you will join me in doing that as well. And I hope you enjoy your weekend. All right. Today's topic is you need the Holy Spirit. We're going to focus on Romans 8, 26 to 30. And before we go any further, before I dive too deep into this, I want to let you know that we're going to be stepping back a little bit on the podcast for the summer. Um, I need a break. <laughs> and honestly, I want to enjoy my family and my niece just had a baby. So I'm going to be traveling a bit to see that baby. And so we're going to probably still do some Friday Faith Foundations episode, but for the most part, I'm going to just do small clips on YouTube. So if you don't already subscribe to the YouTube channel, please subscribe to the YouTube channel because that is where I'm going to be focusing my efforts this summer because I can do so just really quickly and create really short, um, meaningful, valuable clips that you can enjoy, but we don't have to have so much focus on the back end because these episodes, even though they're short and sweet, they are time intensive to do the, the optimized blog post and the graphics and so on and so forth. So be sure and head over to YouTube, find the Robin Graham, that's my handle, and you can follow along on that journey there. In addition, there is a plethora of material there, content that you can consume and learn more. There are um, trainings and presentations I've done. So there's a lot there if you want to go check that out. We will still be releasing our Tuesday episodes. We're just going to take a little bit of, break, of a break on doing two episodes a week. All right. So now for the meat of the episode. Entrepreneurship is overwhelming and exhausting at times, as is life, right? We are pulled in many directions, career, family, friends, caregiving, volunteer duties, the list goes on and on. We need to pray most during these times of overwhelm, but we don't always know what or how, what to pray for or how to pray at all. Life is a responsibility and a lot of responsibility. <laughs> and it's okay to feel weak sometimes because it's too much or we may burn out. And when we get to that point in our journeys, we often don't know what to pray for or how to pray because we're so wrapped up. And it's during these times that Satan comes in and distracts us the most. He looks at these times when we're feeling overwhelmed as an opportunity to jump in and pull us away. But we have good news. And that good news is that during times like these are when we need the Holy Spirit, but that is when he will actually step in and intercede for us. He will pray for us. In Romans 8, 26, Paul says, in the same way, the spirit helps us in our weakness. We do not know what we ought to pray for but the spirit himself intercedes for us with groans that words cannot express. This assures us that we are not alone in solving our problems. When you feel so anxious, worried, fearful, doubtful, exhausted, or even on the verge of burnout, that you don't know what to pray, ask the Holy Spirit for to do so for you. And God will answer. And if you think about it, it's the triune God. So they're working as a team to support us, love us, guide us, share wisdom and knowledge with us. We just need to ask for it. God is helping you pray. 
How cool is that? Illuminating your fear of asking him for help. And that fear is where Satan's coming in and saying, he doesn't want to hear from you. Oh, you're not worthy of praying to him. False. He has no authority over you. Only the Lord does. So when you pray or ask the Holy Spirit to intercede, ask according to God's will. He knows what's best for you. He's already walked the path before you, and he knows what you need. And remember in Jeremiah 29, 11, he has plans for us, plans to prosper us for hope and a future. So don't let Satan pull you away. Don't let fear pull you away. We all want certain things. Relief, outcomes. But remember that as hard as it is to trust and believe in his will, his plan is much greater than ours. His timing is perfect, and his paths, his plans are limitless. Paul reminds us in Romans 8 28 that God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. All things, not only some things, all things. The world is full of evil and bad things will happen. And that is because there are evil spirits in the world. But Christ overcame the world. Christ overcame Satan. And he can turn any circumstance from bad to good. Remember that he is working for his purpose to accomplish his purpose in us, through us. When you accept and love Christ as your Savior and have a renewed mindset through the actions of and the work of the Holy Spirit, you will trust in God more. Seek security in him, not in earthly treasures. The things that we seek here on earth are temporary but his love and grace is eternal. When negative emotions or thoughts swirl about, out of control, stop, breathe, and remember that you are sanctified through the Holy Spirit. That means that he is willing and able to pray for you. And every single day, he works to mold you to be more like Christ. That's what sanctification is. Christ justified us when he died on the cross to save us from all our sins. But that sanctification is the work of the Holy Spirit. And every day he's in us working to help us become more like Christ. We become more like Christ. And we can recognize our true identity in him. The Holy Spirit us this, but you also play a very important role. We need as humans to stay close to God, to read and study scripture so that we can understand Jesus' character and then live according to his will, not worldly standards. In, in Romans 26 or 8 30, sorry about that. In Romans 8 30, Paul writes, and those he predestined, he also called. Those he called, he also justified. Those he justified, he also glorified. God knew you from the very beginning. He knit you together in your mother's womb. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. His love for you is eternal. He knows every single thing about you. So where do you go? When you feel overwhelmed, when you are overthinking or fearful or anxious, maybe depressed and doubtful, what do you do? I recommend you seek the Lord through the Holy Spirit. Ask him to pray for you according to God's will. And then rest assured that he will answer in his timing his perfect timing, and with his limitless plan. 
I know it's so hard to believe that. It's so hard to trust that when we have all the distractions and chaos in the world around us. But if it helps to share that I have seen this in action many times in my life, it really is true. When we surrender, so much good happens in our lives. Sometimes it's surrendering the guilt and shame around things from our past. Sometimes it is it is, you know, just seeking forgiveness for things that have happened and opening the door for a relationship with Christ. It's that relationship that helps us grow, pray, and surrender. So I also want to remind you that you can write Romans 8, 28 on a note card and keep it present as a reminder that God works for the good of those who love him. It's just a great reminder to have with you at all times. And when you read that verse, you can your shoulders down from your ears, take a deep breath and relax a little bit. In 2 Corinthians 3.17, Paul reminds us, now the Lord is the spirit and where the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. That freedom to discover joy, to release the day-to-day -day burdens of life and business. It's yours. That freedom through the Holy Spirit is yours. I want to close with Galatians 6.10. It reads, Therefore, as we have the opportunity, let us do good to all people, especially to those who belong to the family of believers. This verse reminds us to help others. When you notice that someone seems overwhelmed, like they're carrying a burden, when they seem sad or anxious, fearful, reach out to them. Just, you don't have to pry into their business, but let them know that you notice them and that you're thinking about them and that you're praying for them. The same thing goes for you. Don't hesitate to reach out, to seek help from those around you who love you. Ask the Holy Spirit for help. We are not meant to do this journey alone. So if you are overwhelmed trying to grow your business, I want you to be assured that you have resources. Check out my services. I offer business reviews and group and one-to-one -one coaching options. You can ditch the overwhelm and get the support you need to grow your business faster. And I assure you that everything we do in my programs is based on scripture and faith. When we do mindset work, it's based on what the Bible says about us and about Christ and about our relationship with him. All right, friends, that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Will you please share it with a friend or maybe a team member who is feeling a little overwhelmed and maybe Romans 8, 26 to 30 will give them exactly what they need to push through. And don't forget to head over YouTube and subscribe so that you don't miss any of the content we put out this summer. I will have the link to our YouTube channel in the show notes, as well as several other links to additional episodes so that you can dive deep into your identity in Christ, burnout, and all of those other things that tend to overwhelm us on the day today. See you next time.